Oh my goodness, my camera is so precariously balanced there on the steering wheel. Morning, I hope you're doing really well. I am in a beautifully hot and sunny Wales today. I'm at Avan Bike Park and I'm here for an all women's mountain bike festival called Sisters of Send. So this was meant to be on a few years ago, but obviously COVID kind of ruined everything. Um, but finally it's happening and I'm so excited to be a part of it. I really like women only events. Uh, not because I don't like riding with men. I love riding with men and I ride with men all the time. But there's something really nice about a woman only event if you're on your own. It's a whole different vibe to turn up to um, a really sort of male dominated um, event on your own as a solo female. It can feel pretty intimidating. And I'm saying that as a fairly confident person. So um, it's nice to come to something like this because a lot of women riders don't necessarily have other women to ride with. So you can come to this solo and you're gonna meet other people and you're not gonna feel weirded out, hopefully. Anyway, I think today they have got an airbag. They've got some skills workshops going on. I am going to do the learn to manual workshop because I can't manual. Um, some of my friends are doing the other one, so I'll hook up with them later. There are demo bikes. All my sponsors are here, so I'll be dropping by, by the Rock Shocks and SRAM and Smith stands. Oh, also, Rock Shocks are going to be pimping my gravel bike while I'm here. I brought that along as well. Um, but where was I? Oh, yeah, there's a four cross race tomorrow. So I'm going to give that a go, even though I've never raced four cross and I don't have a four cross bike. But I think there's going to be loads of other people in the same boat. So, so much fun stuff to do. I'm, could you tell? I'm like totally excited and hyper. So let's go check it out. <coughs> <coughs> They are the ones I will have to ask. <laughs> 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 well, I've got some swag. Thanks, Marin. Said hey to my sponsors, Smith. So I think I'm going to grab some lunch. Bit of a leisurely start today. And then check out the bike park or the four cross. We don't know, but definitely want to be hitting up that airbag later. Well, oops. I missed the manual link workshop because I turned up on time and you better be there early. I was quite proud of myself for being on time. Never mind, did enjoy that pizza. All of my friends have hired e-bikes and I can't get a hold of one. So I'm off for a pedal on my own. Didn't fancy trying to keep up with them. I'm gonna do the wall. Such a beautiful sunny day and I just stoked to get off for a ride. Although I have been on a road trip recently, it's not like I have done loads of miles. I mean, a lot of that time has been sat in the car. So, so nice to just be here and have the entire day to ride as much as I want. So, let's go. Hey, mush up here. That's two weekends that I've been to Wales and it's been sunny. I know what's happened. Must have been rubbing here on the shock as I go up and down the bumpy descents. That'd be why there's a hole right there. Oh well. Oh hello, hello. e-bikers. <laughs> I've caught you. <laughs> oh thank you. you sure? Yeah. I just got towed up, thank you. <laughs> is, is that climb still hard on an e-bike? No, or not no, really? No, no. no you're 
Look, Vicky's fiance is on the phone. Oh, yeah, I can see him. <laughs> That's Chris. He cut the toey bungee rope off her e-bike before she came here. So I'm calling him all kinds of rude words. <laughs> Why can't we get a lift up here? Okay, I'll speak to you later. Bye, Chris. Love you, bye. Don't hey, you. <laughs> E-bikers first. Oh, That's all I know. <laughs> so we just did this yoga class. And when I got off my bike after doing that hot, hard ride where I was trying to keep up with my friends on e-bikes, I was just so stiff and sore. And so even getting to the ground to do the yoga class, I was all like, Ugh. I felt like about 100 years old when we were in the middle of the class. Everything was difficult and painful and stiff and sore. So Jesus Christ, I have got to start stretching i have got to i know that i'm supposed to but i just i just let it slide so yes let this be the start of a new me <laughs> i will stretch i will do yoga oh my goodness i am so so lucky i just dropped my bike at the sram stand they said they were going to do a couple of things to it i've come back to pick it up and Oh my god, they have totally tricked it out. Let me show you. So look, new SRAM XO crank set. <gasps> Full on new drivetrain. Look, new derailleur. Oh my god, they've given me a new Eagle cassette. <gasps> Whoa, I am so, so lucky. Obviously, I've got new levers there. I want to go and do a bit of riding with it now, but they said drop it back later and they're going to put a new dropper post on it and service my fork. So, yay! Best sponsor ever, thanks Ram. Anyway, I'm gonna go and have a quick razz down the four cross. I borrowed a full face from Smith because I didn't bring mine. I've um, never ridden four cross before, so I'm gonna take it easy and see if I wanna race. I think everyone's gunning for me to race, but we will see. Ready, watch the gate. Smash it! <laughs> first because I suck at overtaking. Yeah. So hard, isn't it? I'm not trying to so hard. Like I was trying to get inside on you yeah. every corner. Get it ladies. Well I came second in the first heat and then I won my next two heats so I don't know where that leaves me. Whether there's like a final or something kind of don't want to go again because I want to go and do something else and have a coffee. Shit. <laughs> oh, it's been so fun riding all sorts of different things that I wouldn't normally think of riding. Like I would never turn up to a four cross race, but because it was here and everyone was doing it and it was dead friendly, it was just 
seemed like too good an opportunity to miss. Anyway, I just got one more thing to do before I head off. I've got a zip up to the zip. I just SRAM stand, I didn't even do that on purpose. We've got to go to the SRAM stand because they have been working on my gravel bike all weekend, kitting it out with the nicest new stuff. So I'm gonna go have a look and see what they've done for me. I'm so lucky, seriously, like I really, really don't take any of this for granted. I'm so lucky, so let's go have a look. What have you done to my bike? We've pimped your ride, is what we've done to your bike. So you're on your way towards your full explore. So new wheels, new forks, what? Uh, new handlebars, new stem. Um, oh my goodness. New cassette. Yes. So new explore ratios. Oh, so what is the ratio? 10.44, so oh, okay. basically the, the sweet <gasps> extra, spot yeah. between our mountain bike ratio and our road ratio, which is what we wanted for the gravel market. Yeah. So 10.44 sits right in the middle. So that means you've just got a little bit more versatility to your gravel. Yeah, that is cool.